Welcome to my fourth tutorial on Nmap for beginners. In this tutorial, we are going to learn various port scanning techniques. So, the first scan is called the TCP send scan. So, the syntax is you write Nmap, you give a dash, and lowercase s followed by an uppercase s, and you uh, write your desired uh, host name. I'm gonna scan my own computer by default. Hit enter. All right. So this scan requires me root privileges. So it is better. So before scanning, uh, before doing any type of scan, it's better you have root privileges because most of the scans require them, and you get some extra functionality. So I'm gonna type the same command but use sudo do you give you a password so this scan is basically a TCP scan and it sends data packets with a send plug set so I'm gonna pause this video and come back when scan is done so the scan is done and it took me a few minutes and here's the result of the scan so this gave me every bunch of details which I required so let's clear the screen <coughs> this was a scan in case you have root privileges but what if you are a regular user and you do not have the root access so there's a scan called the TCP connect scan for that we write nmap you have a dash lowercase s and an uppercase t and you write your host name so this is the option you have when you do not have uh, root privileges. Uh, it uses the same technology like that most web browsers or peer-to-peer -peer applications used. So when you do not have the admin privileges, this is a better choice. Next type of scan which we are going to learn is called uh, UDP scan. So the syntax is nmap a space a dash a lowercase s and but an uppercase u and you write your host name now while these uh, tcp scans are much popular and easy but in case of UDP, udp scans these scans are much slower and more difficult so usually network administrators leave these ports and they do not block them uh, that but that's a big mistake so this types of scan is very much useful for bypassing for firewalls and they are one of the most important used by penetration testers so make sure you, you note this scan as it's gonna help you very much now next we are going to learn three types of scan so let me tell you these types are these uh, the next three scans which we are going to learn are basically used for bypassing firewalls because firewalls usually block the most popular TCP scan and TCP connect scan but they have some downsides too like the toughest intrusion detection systems usually detects them and these types of scan which we're going to learn cannot distinguish between an open and a filtered port Alright, so these were a couple of disadvantages about this scan, but they are quite useful in bypassing the firewall. So the first type of scan which we are going to learn among these exceptional scans is called null scan. The syntax is simple, you write nmap oopsie doopsie nmap dash lowercase s and an uppercase n you write your host name. So basically this type of scan it uh, doesn't send any bit that means the TCP flag header is zero you remember on the last tutorial I told you to learn about a basic three-way handshake so in that you might have learned about the flags set inside a data packet there are different types of flags like sin flag ACK flag uh, the which is the string recognition flag and acknowledgement flag flag sorry 
even there are some other flags uh, like uh, the fin flag, push flag, urge flag all right there are a bunch of these so if you're interested in knowing this you might go to google and learn all about them but for this video you just remember that in null scan there is no flag set the data packet is actually null another scan is called fin scan so the syntax is all same just instead of n you use an uppercase f which means it's for fin scan so uh, nmap sends data packets with just uh, the tcp fin flag set that's it just the fin flag another the third type of scan is called the xmas scan so instead of f sf you use sx so nmap sends data packet with fin push and urgent flag sets so all these three flags flags are set in this type of scan anyways if you want depth knowledge on that tell me in the comments if you want to know more about these types uh, data packets and all i'll try to make tutorials on them let me know in the comments and but for now just remember the syntax and that's it so the next type of scan which we are going to learn is very much important it is very much important in knowing whether there is a firewall sitting on some services or not so it's called a tcp ack scan you write nmap you give a dash you write s you write a and you write a host name all right so in this case uh, the um, nmap sends uh, uh, data packets with uh, tcp ack flag set and the demerit of this type of scan is it cannot distinguish between open and filtered system so when there's a system which is unfiltered means it's there's no firewall uh, nmap sends an ack packet and the system returns a reset Back. that determines that the uh, system is unfiltered but in case any host is filtered it uh, cannot determine whether the host is whether the ports are open or closed yeah that's the demerit and yeah the ports that do not respond to the ECK flag are written as filtered so this was one of the most important scan and it's very useful in evading firewalls and yeah make sure you note it down the last type of scan for this video is called ip protocol scan and yeah it's important too so instead of a you write an uppercase o so this scan is very much important in order to find out which type of scan does the target machine supports whether they are tcp icmp or even igmp so these were the types of scan used for port scanning i hope this video was helpful to you guys um, please subscribe to my channel because i got new videos coming each day every week i'll try to post a new series on a new information security tool i i even have plans to make programming videos do let me in the comments which type of videos do you like and please provide me suggestions to improve the quality of the videos thanks for watching meet you in the next video